Hi, I'm Ross Callaghan, and I've just finished making another model ship. And this one is the Nina, La Nina, the third of Christopher Columbus's ships that he used when he went um, in 1492 to discover the Americas. The, the main ship was the Santa Maria, and also there was the Pinta and the Nina. And um, you, you may know the story that um, Columbus uh, went aground in the Santa Maria on Christmas night of 1492. So he had to come back to Spain using the Pinta and the Nina. He came back to rapturous applause because he had discovered the Americas. Now I'll tell you a little bit about um, the making of this ship. The Santa Maria was made from a kit. The Pinta was made from a photograph, no kit. And this one I decided, the Nina, I decided to just make it by trial and error. I didn't have a photograph. I just um, started and tried things and then gradu it gradually evolved. I started with some cardboard to try and get the shape of the hull and the shape of the keel. Once that was established in relation to the other two, I built the keel out of plywood the frames out of basswood, and the sides, they're made out of basswood as well. And this time I, I tried something different and used balsa um, for making the, the bottom half of the hull because it's a lot softer and easier to manipulate. And once um, all the basic structure of the hull was complete, there's quite a lot of extra little bits and pieces that needed to be put on and then the whole hull was painted and um, ready for the rigging. So once that was done, I uh, created the masts, the four masts. I decided to use a um, square masted foresail and then three lateen sails. Nobody really knows what the uh, three boats were like. Um, and these models are, are roughly based on uh, replicas that were created a couple of hundred years ago. So once I'd got the masts onto the hull, I, I put the fixed or the standing rigging in place, which holds all the masts uh, in their correct positions. Then my wife made, made up the sails while I created the spars. Sewed the sails onto the spars and then slowly attached all of the um, sails to the masts using the running rigging. A lot of trial and error in that because um, I had to work out how things went and where things went. And I decided to make, like these other ones, that this would be a fully functional model. So each of the sails will actually um, operate as it, as it would on the, um, on the ship. So once all the sails were in place, the final step was to put all of the little bits and pieces in place, in their final place. Anchors and cannons and all, the ship's boat there, the wheel at the back, the uh, little flags here, all of which help contribute to make the model look nice. I made um, this as a legacy for my granddaughter. I reckon that the model of the La Nina has turned out really well. La Nina means the girl in Spanish. And I reckon that the model now is, uh, looks really good and doesn't suffer anything by comparison to the other two. So I'm hoping that my granddaughter will really enjoy uh, what I have created here for her in days to come. So there you are, the Santa Maria, the, ne the Pinta and the Nina the three Columbus ships and my models of them.